questions you should be able to answer by the end of this video. What are the rows called on the periodic table? And what do those elements have in common? And what are the columns called on the periodic table? And what do those elements have in common? The periodic table is organized like a big grid. Each element is placed in a specific location because of its atomic structure. As with any grid, the periodic table has rows, left to right, and columns, up and down. Each row and column have specific characteristics. Let's talk about periods. Yikes, just kidding. Even though they skip some squares in between, all of the rows read left to right. When you look at the periodic table, each row is called a period. Like periodic table, get it? All of the elements in a period have the same number of electron shells. For example, every element in the top row, or the first period, has only one electron shell for its electrons. All of the elements in the second row, the second period, have two electron shells for their electrons. As you move down the table, every row adds a shell. At this time, there's a max of seven shells. So now that you know about periods that go left to right, the periodic table also has a special name for its vertical columns. Each column is called a group. The elements in each group have the same number of valence electrons. Those are the electrons in the outer shell. Those outer electrons are super important for reactivity. Every element in the first column, or group one, has one valence electron in its outer shell. Every element in the second column, or group two, has two valence electrons in the outer shell. We skip over the lower part of the periodic table for this part because these are known as the transition metals, and they either have one or two valence electrons in their outer shell. It picks right back up with group 13 though. Group 13 has three valence electrons. 14 has four. 15 has five. 16 has six. 17 has seven. And you guessed it, 18 has eight. Here's a portion of a periodic table with the atoms subbed in for the element names. Do you see how the rows and columns work now? Row one has only one electron shell. Row two has two, and every element in row three has three electron shells. Same thing for the columns. Each element in group one has only one valence electron in that outer shell. Please make sure you ask questions if any of this isn't quite clicking yet. We will definitely practice this, and I know you will discover the pattern soon. That's all for today, folks. See you tomorrow.